Hey y'all, what's up? Rich here and welcome back to Rich Aesthetic. Today's an aesthetic tips episode, especially for those of you using VPNs. And on top of that, especially for those of you using them to access the great, beautiful, luscious World Wide Web from countries that have blocked the World Wide Web. All right, let's jump into this. If you're about to click off, don't. This is not a suggestion for a VPN or even an ad for a VPN. I know that you know that a VPN allows you to change your location, change the server that you're connected to so you can access the World Wide Web. That's not what this is about. Have you ever thought about all the steps you go through to access, let's say, a blocked app? Like, for example, you wanna go onto YouTube, right? You forget the VPN is not connected because you just woke up maybe and you tap on YouTube, nothing's loading. Oh yeah, I gotta turn on my VPN. So then you swipe up to go home, you find the VPN, you have to turn that on. Maybe change the location a couple of times if you're having a hard time connecting. Then you swipe up to go home again and go to YouTube. Or you go to the app switcher and you go back to YouTube. Refresh, now you're in. That's a lot of steps. Plus you didn't realize you weren't connected to the VPN. So on iOS and iPadOS, we can actually create an automation that checks for you if the VPN is connected or not. And then it'll open up the VPN automatically for you if you do need to connect. Unfortunately, right now, Apple doesn't let you share a whole automation. So I'm gonna show you how to set up the automation, but I'm gonna leave the link to the shortcut that the automation is going to run down in the comments below. Uh, by the way, you do need one app. It's called Actions or you can use another app called Toolbox Pro. All right, though, so first though, automation setup. So you go into the shortcuts app, then you go into the automation tab. Here, you're gonna set up a personal automation and we want it to check for the VPN access when an app is opened. So you're going to scroll down a sec here, go to app, and then, what's gonna be when it's opened, and I want you to choose the app. So this one I'm gonna create for the Western side of things. No, let's search, here we go, YouTube. All right, so I've chosen YouTube. You can select all the Western apps that you need uh, to have a VPN connected to use. Select them all right now, okay? So I'm just gonna go with YouTube, uh, Instagram, which is here, as well as Twitter, keep it basic. Whoops, that's not Twitter. There we go, TweetBot, all right. Then, you're going to hit next, and then you're gonna add one action. Run shortcut. That's it. Then you're gonna hit next, and in my opinion, it's a lot better if it just runs on the background, so I'm gonna have you turn off ask before running. All right, cool. Now, if you want, you can get a notification each time it does run, so you could turn that on. Personally, I don't like getting all those notifications throughout the day. I get enough from other apps. So I'm just gonna turn that off because I am setting this up and I want this background process to happen. And then you're going to hit done. All right, that's the automation done and set up. Now, if you want, you can create another one for your local apps that don't need VPNs. So that way the internet runs faster. By the way, the link to the shortcut is in the description. Go ahead, grab that, share with all your friends and family. Um, and then you don't have to set up anything else. If you wanna know how to make the shortcuts, we'll get into that in a second. But once you have the shortcut, whether you're making it yourself or you're taking it from the link in the description, so I want you to go ahead and find the automation you made. Um, this is for checking if the VPN is connected or not. So you're just gonna go back into that, right? And then tap in the do section, tap on run shortcut on that space there. And now we need to append the correct shortcut to here. So if you just took it from the, wherever you got your shortcut from, whether you made it yourself with the video or if you got it from the shortcut links, the shortcut share links down in the description, just go ahead and search for its name. So mine was called Western VPN Check. There it is, tap and done. So pretty much after that runs, you're gonna wanna hit allow so then you won't have to hit that again in the future. In this case, I was pretending like I need the VPN on, so I turn it on, and then I just swipe back to the app that I was in and everything should run great. All right, cool. Thanks to you guys. If you're clicking off, 
See you in another one. If you want more videos like this, go ahead and subscribe. And then always please leave a like if you did enjoy it or learn something and share it with your friends and family who live in the country with you that could use this. All right, peace out to you. All right, y'all still here? Y'all still here for the good stuff? All right, so let's go ahead and create the shortcut because I didn't do that yet. All right, so we're back on the shortcuts tab here. And I'm just gonna go into my testing and tutorials folder. You can go into all shortcuts, any folder you have. Maybe you have a utility shortcut. Go there, hit that plus button. We are creating a new shortcut, right? So now the action you're gonna need is from Actions, that's an app, or it's from Toolbox Pro. Is VPN connected? Where is that? There we go. Cool. So is connected to VPN action, you're gonna throw that in. Now this is a Boolean action. And the result, it's a number because one means true, zero means false. So now we're gonna throw in an if action, which conveniently was in the suggestions. And then I'm going to say is. So if is connected to VPN is one, then I want nothing to happen. Otherwise, in this case, it needs to open up the VPN app. And for this, you can just use the open app action. Tap and hold to throw it in after otherwise. And now select your VPN app. In my case, that is Express. It's the best that I've been able to find so far. And now name your shortcut something memorable. So for this, this is this is the one I'm going to use for Western apps. So if it's on, I don't need the VPN app to open. So Western VPN check. All right. Now to keep things simple, if you wanna create the second shortcut, which is to check for the VPN so that you can turn it off if you are using a local app, in my case, if I want to order food, I use Olama here in China or even Meituan. And I don't want the VPN to be on because sometimes it can mess around with the map loading well, the location being accurate, as well as just the general connectivity because you are connecting to a server outside of China, which I don't need to do for a Chinese app, right? So in this case, I'm going to duplicate the shortcut we just made because it doesn't change a lot. Now I'm gonna go into Western VPN check one. You'll go into yours with the one at the end. I'm gonna change the name before I forget. Chinese VPN check, name it whatever makes sense to you. And now all we have to do is take the open VPN action and slide it up above otherwise. So now to translate the actions, it's saying if VPN is connected or if VPN is connected is true, open up the VPN app. And that's going to allow you to quickly tap on open, or sorry, tap on the, the power button for the VPN. It'll turn off and then you'll swipe back into your app that you were using. All right, I hope you guys found that helpful. If you stuck around to the end of the video, go ahead and comment VPN master down below. I'm gonna find all you true fans out there of which I have so many. <laughs> And yeah, leave a comment as always. If you didn't hear me before, like and share this video with your friends. That would mean so much to me. And subscribe for more tech videos, tips, tricks, and news tip videos like, like this. Peace out.